What up, everybody? Ian Fernando here from ianfernando.com, obviously. Um, today, I want to show you again on how to find offers to promote via one of my favorite spy tools, Anstrex, right? Um, so right now, as you know, I'm living in Vietnam, and I kind of want to see what I can do with the local uh, people here and see if I can get any traffic to convert. So what we're going to do today is take a look at if there's any offers out there that are converting in local Vietnam that I can push and promote via either native ads and push. So what we're looking at right now is Antrex native ad spy tool version. And what I'll obviously first do is change my days running to at least seven days. Uh, obviously change the country to Vietnam, which I should have done first, but yeah, let's do that. Uh, uh, man. Okay, and then we'll change the ad strength to, I kind of want to get like 800, 750 and up, usually. And those are the only two filters I actually use uh, to find out what's going on. So let's see. Uh, very interesting. I'm actually running traffic with MGID right now, actually. And I do see traffic is pretty good. What I do look for is actually this number here, the ad strengths. Uh, the higher it is, the better it's actually doing. Um, in comparison, making it look like it's been running for a long time. And you'll see this gravity uh, here, this gravity score, which basically like, a, I believe it's more of like um, the score of attractiveness, I think. I have to look it up, but in any case, I really pay attention to this number, right? Something like this, 968, is pretty low, might be new, but it's also worth looking into. Um, I did see something else from like 4,000 here, this. So this one is almost 5,000, 3,000. Let me take a look at this. And the best part about Anstrex is you'll see this little thing here. Uh, this is actually Google Translate. Um, I think it's Google Translate, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it's Google Translate because this little icon here looks like Google Translate's uh, icon. Uh, so this looks like a biz op. This is also a biz op. Okay, this is up as well. So let's take a look at them. Again, this is through uh, native ads. So let's take a look. Take a look at the screenshot of the landing page. Okay. Oh, it looks like going direct to offer, actually. Interesting. Looks like it's been running for quite a while. Oh, not actually, no, not, not that much, actually, but only just a month. But it's been running for a, a good month. Not bad. It's actually ranking one. Let's see the creatives. Mm, so this is the creative that's been popular, doing the best. This looks like he's been testing a lot, or this person been testing a lot of creatives. But only two are in Vietnam, or three, four. Like yes, oh, so he also does this in Egypt as well. The one in the US targeting Vietnamese. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like this ad looks good. So, are there any landing pages? Are they all the same? Oh, the page. So it looks like he was using an Insta page, maybe a lead gen to the offer. And same thing here. So it looked like they were doing a lead gen to the offer or just using the page for, I mean, the best part is you can probably try to see the screenshot if uh, Anstrex captures it. So this is what they were doing. Oh, so they were using Instapage to create an article with just call to actions on them. Very cool. I haven't seen that actually. Yeah, so they're using a one-page lander on Instapage. 
can just call to actions and that's it. And I'm assuming they got called through Instapage, you know why that's why Instapage just shut them down. Or he probably might have uh, just removed that lander. <clears throat> Take a look at where the most advertising is. I just want to look at, since I'm on advertising, oh, this is the majority on MGID, which is really good. So this tells me that it's doing very, very well. Uh, and these are, these are, what we're looking at right now are like the publishers. The publishers meaning where is the native ad widget actually advertising on. So they're actually advertising on this website, right? Which is really good because you can see the Alexa rankings, um, how long these ads have been stayed on this website, which is pretty good. 13 days overall look like. Uh, let's just take a look at this. Look at the percentage of traffic came from here. Uh, volumes, uh, click magic. So these are some of the advertisers on there. Ooh, Amazon, ads keepers. Interesting. Okay. So those are some things you want to look at. Uh, but this is very good. I wonder if they have the widget ID. You can, I wonder if you can export the widget ID. Yeah, you can export the widget ID here. This is what's up. You can actually just export the widget ID and take these performing IDs and just upload it and whitelist it to your uh, ad manager in MGID. <clears throat> and they will basically just advertise on these specific sites, which is good because sometimes you already know that this is already working. Maybe you want to get rid of just the 0.46 uh, uh, publishers, but you have to also think about that you might be spending higher on a CPC on these sites because you are competing against this person and, uh, and maybe a couple others, right? Take a look at ad networks. Let me move myself up here. We have content and GID, of course. Take a look at devices. More so desktop and mobile. Interesting for Vietnam, I would assume that's the, uh, I would assume mobile would be the best. Hmm, okay. And the Geo is mostly Vietnam here. Winning while the others like Mexico. So this specific biz op is running in Mexico and Vietnam, which is good. So it might be something that you guys want to look into. I will probably look into it, but let's take a look at uh, another offer. Let's see if we can find something else. Let's see. Biz ops, what did this say? Do this before bed. We'll die two sticks to patients after seven days. It doesn't sound right, but obviously it might be translated through Google and it doesn't translate the actual natural language from Vietnamese, like a natural Vietnamese person speaks, so it might be a little awkward. So let's just skip that and see what we can find here. This looks like it is a, a health-related, decent actual uh, rank on ads. Okay, this one has the same one as this, except this one looks not professional. So I bet you people are looking at that one. So take a look. <clears throat> uh -uh. Let's see, visit the page. Can we visit the page? And we can. So, this is a landing page. Joint cure, okay. Look decent. Uh, let's see the statistics. Not running for that long, just so one. Yeah, not that long. So less than. Two weeks, less than a week and a half, roughly, but still number one. Here's some of the creatives. This is actually doing the best, but these are also doing very fairly well. I think these are these numbers are also decent to advertise. Um, but this one is in Vietnam, two four six. If this is doing well in Thailand, then we could probably switch it over to Vietnam. And if this is doing it in Indonesia, we could probably switch it to Vietnam as well. It does have a decent uh, rate. Let's take a look. Uh, landing pages. 
don't find one landing page. You see that? Or that might be a direct link actually. There's no landing page, so it might be a direct link to the actual um, uh, landing page itself from the network. Ooh, this is everywhere. Let's take a look at. They are in MGID a lot too. It's only 2%. I don't know about this one, but again, these are also pretty good old in MGID. Rank here is decent, actually. I mean, someone's advertising on here, so it has to be good. Check the at devices, mobile and desktop, half half. It's very interesting to me that in Asia, there's half half of desktop and mobile. I would assume more mobile than anything. Where is Vietnam? Only 11%. Okay, mathematically, this might be expensive to actually compete just because 11% traffic plus uh, the publisher is not that high actually. 13%, so you might compete, and CPCs might be pretty expensive. Uh, okay, let's take a look at something else. One last one for some spying of ad tools, or some spying in Vietnam. What did this say? Hemorrhoids, this is 1400. Take a look at this. It's actually running for a while, but it looks like it's low volume. And you gotta understand about this specific screenshot here that I'm showing you is that um, obviously robots are on the internet and they're scanning, but they're not scanning consistently and refreshing pages every two minutes. So nine could be maybe maybe 12 or 18 or 30, right? This is when the time the crawler actually sees it, right? Uh, but lesser number, you can assume it's obviously less seen uh, on that specific day. Or maybe on a high day, a lot of advertisers were pulled out, CPCs were low, and that's why they were able to get uh, a high volume count. But this is just a tool for you to look at and make sure you can understand how to uh, look at offers to find. Take a look at some creatives. Oh, this don't want to do well. We tested several other ones, not doing too well. So I would probably take this creative and use it, and the same creative and use it as well. I just had now have to find the offer. Now I gotta find the offer and see if I can. Uh, I'm pretty sure ad combo would probably have it, but we'll see. MJD, that's not mobile. Again. Desktop and mobile are almost equal, but I'll, I'll probably end up doing always mobile and all of Vietnam. Just take a look at the land uh, statistics. Probably should be. Ah, oh, this is interesting. They're not advertising a lot of places. So only three websites that this person is advertising on. Hmm. He only specifically chose these sites. So what this tells me that this person already has honed down on the actual sites of what's converting for him. So all I'll do is just take these widgets, widget IDs, I'll export it through Anstrex and upload them to MGID or give them to my ad network partner or my manager on MGID and be like, hey, I only want to advertise on this, copy the creative, probably spend a little bit higher on CPC um, to see if it overtake the traffic, and then we'll see if it converts or not. But this one is very, very interesting. It looks like the work has been pretty much done, and he has rectified, and these are three sites that are doing very, very well. So that concludes for our Anstrex ad spy. Um, since I am in Vietnam, I'm curious to find other offers and work with the time zone because sometimes the time zone I advertise in Europe and USA does throw me off and I do miss um, watching stats in real time sometimes. I'm curious to see if I can promote a couple offers in Vietnam and make it work. So 
I use Anthrax, I guess you guys, I definitely want you guys to try to use this ad spy tool too, because it is definitely awesome. Um, this is specific for native, we'll do another one for push, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, well, that's it for me, I'll talk to you soon, and stay tuned for another uh, Anthrax ad.